This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. You converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. I was just telling you that I think I will start looking next end of next year. <laughs> yes. And today's topic makes me happy because you you propose that it's possible to intentionally get a partner within a year. Yep. So if I say to, uh, 2026 is my year, I yeah. can get someone in 2026. Yes. Uh huh. And I hope you know that we are trying to remove the cobwebs. Mm -hmm. The mental cobwebs and rusty ideas yeah. that love is happenstance, fate, yeah. luck. Yeah. It, it's something that just finds you. Mm. you. As you walk along the street, movies have really made us think you can trip, <laughs> trip and fall together. And as you collect each other, you pick yourself up, you fall in love. <laughs> but the, the train shook and your yeah. hand happened to hold the hand hey. of the other and, and a lot of concocted things <laughs> that have made us wait for those happenings. And sometimes when those things happen, they happen with the wrongest person <laughs> ever. <laughs> and our life just takes a downward spiral. So the fantasy yeah. we found from movies mm. and the idea, particularly for women who are supposed to stay in the village and a man comes for them from the other side of the village. Yeah. Because word went round that this girl is ready for marriage and she's yes, single. Yes, yes. In many cultures today, they still book very young girls by putting some things on their neck. Mm -hmm. So for a long time, women in particular were not taught how to take initiative. Yeah. They were not encouraged to, mm. to determine, to self-determine. Mm -hmm. the, the, the current generation of women in Africa are lucky. Yeah. They are the first ones to have freedom to self-determine. Yeah. You can hear you are saying, you are planning your life. Yes. When you want to date. Yeah. This is new. I love it. <laughs> this is new. Yes. Women were not allowed that. Yeah. <laughs> Someone who just have you, you are grown enough. We have sold you. We have eaten the cows. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. And it was the richer bidder or the earlier one or something. <laughs> there was no self determination. Yeah. So while men need to be taught about seasons, women need to be given the permission, first of all, mm -hmm. <laughs> to determine when they are ready. I love that. When they are ready and who they want and how and what kind of life uh, they want. In our conference, we are discussing what standard of life makes you happy. We are calling it the class of life. You need to mm -hmm. answer that question. Yeah. What is your preference for level of life that mm -hmm. makes you comfortable? Decide it. Yeah. We said if you marry without deciding that, you'll end up with a person you're not congruent on the standard of life you want and you can't explain to society why you're uncomfortable. Yeah. Class is so comfortable, it's so personal and subjective. Yeah. And we used sizes of cars. Mm -hmm. You can have a small car that is functioning perfectly and your partner is comfortable with mm. it. You think you would grow on that, you want more presents, you want more space, you want more then they think you're just wasteful. That's a guzzler. Yeah. This guy is working. Why are you bothering it? Yeah. <laughs> You can't argue that in a court of law, my friend. You can't base that in a form of divorce, my friend. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> you will be gaslighted. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Grateful. Hey. You'll be branded all the names. That that decision that this is standard of life I would like. This is a size of life. Yeah. Living large is a thing. <laughs> How large yeah. you want to live. Yeah. You can never you can never say I I, I I left that lady because she doesn't allow us to do trips around the world. Mm -mm. People go back to foundations. Does she cook for you? Does she take care of kids? Does she come home? <laughs> and if she's uh, Mama Kanisa, church yeah. lady, Kusha, you, you have no defense. <laughs> so the decision on the level of life, the lifestyle, class of life you want, is so personal and critical. If you try to date without determining it, because people don't shout it, it's their philosophy, that's their world, that's their worldview. Yeah. All right, metacognition is thinking about your thinking, and most people can do that. Wow, wow. metacognition yeah. thinking about your thinking, yeah, is most people can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, they can't tell you what life they're planning on living because for them, that's the only life there is. The rest, other people are crazy, that's they're the only sane person. Oh, okay, oh. so if you don't think like them, you're crazy. 
So that's how most people <laughs> look at life. Yeah. They are minimalist or they are grander. They want grand life or they want minimalist life. Mm -hmm. For them, whatever it is, that's the only reasonable life. So they will never warn you. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, they don't know to warn you. Yes. Right? Because they hope that, in fact, that's why you like them. Yeah. That's the problem with today what we're di di uh, dis discussing that when you do not determine what you want and you just drift to the template of society, mm. they fit you in a place where you are so uncomfortable. Many people decided to carry their partner to the upper class they want. They can finance it, so they decide, okay, don't bother paying for the bigger house, for the bigger car, I'll pay everything. So, so you carry the person in mm. the trips and they're just there. Yeah. So you carry them in the better life, they're just there. You know, it changes your lifestyle, how you spend free time, mm -hmm. where you go, where mm -hmm. you hang out, who you talk to, mm -hmm. what you buy, what you wear. Yeah. You can find the same kind of clothes for different budgets, and one is ten times. You just want a pair of trousers, for example. Yeah. <laughs> one is a thousand, the other one is ten thousand. Yes. They're, they're all wearable. Yes. What is the difference? Class. Uh -huh. And that class is so personal and important, you can't be happy without it, and yet you can't prove it to society. Just remember that. Yeah. You'll be gaslit. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah. that. You, we don't change people, we choose them. <laughs> hey, that's something. There's something yes. there. We don't change people, we choose we them. We choose them. Decide what you like and find a person who fits that. Do not try to upgrade people. They are very stubborn. <laughs> Moses did not make it <laughs> trying to upgrade them. <laughs> what, what hope do you have? <laughs> What hope do you have? That's an intense example. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just remember that. They're going to get on your nerves until you're doing things that are out of character. Mm. And then you're being called crazy. Yeah. Because they're triggering you. Yeah. How do you find your partner in a year? Number one, you move from girlfriend, boyfriend to husband, wife. Stop looking, stop moving around, carrying yourself like a boyfriend, girlfriend. The difference with boyfriend, girlfriend is they look for relationship. Yeah. Husband, wife look for marriage. Yes. It's what you shape, the space you shape yourself to feed. Mm -hmm. The things you ask for. Mm -hmm. What, the kind of conversations you conduct. Yeah. The kind of evalu evaluation. Yeah. The bar, where mm -hmm. you set the bar. Mm -hmm. So, the people, um, and they keep asking, Oh, I'm dating this guy. He's ready for marriage. I'm not ready for marriage. So why are you dating? You've been in a relationship for two years. What is it about? That is a boyfriend girlfriend energy. Yeah. And I want to change him. He can yes, change. You know? Yeah. That's a boyfriend girlfriend energy versus one who wanted wife husband energy. What is yeah. the difference? We say it again. The difference, anytime you think about marriage, you are jacked by the seriousness of the commitment. Mm hmm. Boyfriend, girlfriend, relationships have no seriousness of commitment. They don't have repercussions. You can always walk out if you don't like. Yeah. They don't have a finality paper. On, uh, no. It's vapor, really. Yeah. And it's for the sweet side. Mm -hmm. Skip to the sweet part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. it's for the lovey dovey. Yeah. It's for the enjoyment without any long term. Yeah. There's no. You're not required to transform. Yeah. So. They base it on trust. They say we trust each other and we love each other. Yes. The moment one of them stops trusting and loving, it's vapor. Exactly. So, the moment you will decide you want to get married, stop putting forward that energy of, that energy of we click so well, we flow so well, I think you should have a thing, we officially have feelings for each other. So the language of having official feelings, the language of <laughs> liking this person, yeah. talking so much, yeah. hanging out, having fun. You, that is the package that you concentrate on when you are unconsciously just looking for a relationship. Mm. And you, you, you fan the flame of feelings mm. without focusing your binoculars on the long term to see whether you are marrying. The, the, the ideas you have for your futures are marrying. Yeah. Many people can marry, but their dreams don't marry. Somebody will have to forfeit them mm -hmm. to maintain that union. Mm -hmm. Or they are going to be, what you call, parallel lines have so much in common, it's a pity they never meet. Yeah. You're driven, I'm driven, but we are driven so parallel. Yeah. We have no meeting point. We are exactly alike, and that's the problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You do not have any complementarity. I can't support you, you can't support me. You yeah. can't stand in for me. You cannot feel what I need, you yeah. know? Yeah. It, it, that energy also changes how you dress yourself up. 
If you're a man, mm -hmm. start to dress like a leader. Husband means leader. Mm -hmm. Husband means leader. That's why most men never do it. They are irresponsible and the leader needed initiative, reliability, yeah. consistency, discipline, mm. dependability. He needs to go out there. That person hanging on out on the sofa side with the remote or just going to play with the boys to drink, come late. Just demand food when they're not even providing it. When they're expecting them, the woman to foot the bill. So they're just dodging by paying a small bill and staying by the side. Yeah. Just saying, I have no money, I have no money, I have no money. Why are people converting every creature they're meeting into a husband? Husband is a calling, my friend. What are these things you guys are marrying? <laughs> You're complaining <laughs> they don't pay anything. That's not a husband. Yeah. Husband wanted to lead a family and actually forge a family. He wanted to... Do all he can. Husbands yeah. don't promise wealth. They just promise to be there. If we build, mm. get wealth sooner. They aim at it. They don't mm. sit there wanting to be hustlers forever. Describe what you mean by promise to be there. What does that mean? To be always present, not to abandon, not to jump ship. You know, there are people who run away to other women. People yeah. run away to alcohol. Yeah. People run away to church. People yeah. run away to hide. Just they stop being rich. And, and children don't even ask for buy a pen or other things, shoes from daddy because dad always has no money, no money, no money, no money, no oh. money. That's financial abandonment. So he promises to always be there. Even when he cannot provide everything, he will be there every time. Okay. I liked it when I heard one guy is telling the wife, I may not protect you from everything, but I just promise you never go through things alone. alone. I'll always be with you. The husband is always be visibly in front. Yeah. The, the forging a family in this damaged world is a battle. You have to fight for it. Yeah. The, the popular culture does not bring to the core functioning mm. families. Mm. The, True. The, 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 it, it's not sensational. We want what is scandalous. That is what is trendy. Yeah. When people do weird things. Yeah. That person who is doing the right thing cannot wait for cheers. Cannot depend on being told you are doing it. Yeah. That, that, that man who loves to be there, to be there for his family when feelings are up, when feelings are down, mm. that man will always, um, his fulfillment is to say, that year, what did we accomplish? Mm. All of us, we grew one year older. What did you do again? Yeah. We had birthdays. We celebrated. We did this thing. We fought battles. Sometimes the progress for that year is not new projects you launched. It's battles mm. you survived. Yeah. Mm. It's w the storms you yeah. weathered. Yeah. Is that you're still alive? Yeah, we made it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's when daddy and mommy and children were there fighting for each other, you know, backing each other up, covering this side, sharing ideas, enduring difficulties, being creative, being persistent. When mm. somebody was sick, we were there with them, we stood with them, we filled the gap, we stood up for each other. There are years that being a husband just means fighting for your family and wrestling, yeah. you know, wrestling yeah. things. So we are saying the first thing, that year when you want to decide, just remember whoever finds a wife finds a good thing, not whoever finds a girlfriend. You become a <laughs> wife. <laughs> you, found, you are found when you are a wife, please. There's, a, there's an influencer I saw, she's been documenting her journey as a stay-at-home girlfriend. And I was thinking, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, the madness we have in this society yeah. is crazy. Yeah. To already be cohabiting when you're a girlfriend is a mistake, number one. And then now to sacrifice your career yeah. to stay home in the name of girlfriend is another problem. Mm -hmm. So these people are very unconscious and they're hoping to just be trendy. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and Lily, let me remind you that the moment we dethrone God's purpose for our lives, we become anything. True. Anything. Mm -hmm. Fornication and adultery and sexual compromise becomes your lifestyle. You even brag with it. Yeah. Not pursuing your career, developing your gifts, give, unleashing your essence to the generation becomes fashionable. You just stay home. Yeah. Fashionable now. You can even uh, tweet it. You can now. Uh, I, I know. I get a sense of doom every time I exactly. watch it. Yeah. No, you can even film it and brag with it. And <laughs> that's one place where it was saying in Isaiah that he, what to these obstinate children. Who, who form alliances that are not of my spirit to heap sin upon sin and they seem proud of it mm. to add rebellion upon rebellion yeah so anytime you make yourself your own god you can do anything <laughs> <laughs> true lily let me just remind you if you miss out on other things don't 
don't miss out on doing what you do and people say lily you brought something you opened my mind mm. when somebody out there says you showed me light yeah that guy who said if by the end of the day the day meaning my life mm -hmm. i made somebody's burden lighter yeah i lit a candle for somebody who was in confusion yeah i left the light on for those who are lost to find their way home yeah if if by the end of my life i i i, I lifted one was along the way i i helped them make better decision feel encouraged see the way forward believe in themselves you know pay something they were stuck on paying believe in themselves in a different way i would not have lived in vain oh. swear with your gifts and your essence in the world yeah not whoever you you're making your demigod i know <laughs> humans are humans today they can be alive tomorrow they're not yeah careful now yeah careful <laughs> Today they can be of one mind and tomorrow another. Like they can just switch up on you. Be careful now. Yeah. <laughs> so the first step really is to become that thing you want before it happens. Okay. You become the husband. You dress up like a husband. Stop wearing us and all every day. No problem with us and all. But some guys just don't dress up. They just pick the shorthand. They just pick whatever is there. And it is, it is, it is, there is no unique identity. Yeah. You don't belong to Manchester United. You belong to your dad. You belong to yourself. <laughs> belong to your calling. <laughs> they don't know you. Yeah. Stop swearing with them too much. True. Stop placing bets and money on clubs. Yeah. You better bet on a business. Yeah. Bet on yourself. Yeah. Buy a book. Yeah. Shave. Clean up. Groom. Buy a shoe. Wow. Use that money for something better, bro. Get a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one time I needed a, a border border. Yes. So I went somewhere where there were many. Yes. And no one was attending to me. They were betting. Exactly. I was so upset. Exactly. <laughs> well, the day there's a game, they even go all of them to watch the games. Okay. They must be dead broke mm -hmm. to work. Yeah. If they, any little, you know that meme, any little change. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say I must buy food. <laughs> Some people say I must bet. Yes. Anytime they have some money, they're not excited. People live such on bare minimum. On bare minimum. Yeah. And sometimes you, you, you need, they need to carry you, but they have to go opposite direction to fuel. They were waiting for you without a fuel. I know. They have to waste your time, and sometimes you, you're operating with a few minutes. Yeah. And they're, they're just uh, bring that money to fuel first. What are you going to eat? I know. <laughs> you using my money to fuel. Where is your profit? Oh my God! What are you working on? Uh, please consider doing a show just for those people. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. there are people who will always complain: the government, the weather, everything, climate. My mother. Yes. But if you look at their financial habits, any little change. Yes. Any little change. They even refuse trips. These, these Uber people cancel trips yeah. because they are going in the direction they don't want. Yes. They are stranded somewhere and they will not pick that job. No. Where are you going? Cancel. Where are you going? Cancel. Until you even tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. leave you want. The moment you decide this is the time, transform mentally. Dress up. Groom. Like a person who is desirable. To the best you can. Okay. At that time, you may not have all the money. But yeah. when you're doing the best, it is very attractive. Okay? Okay. When you're doing the, the best with what you have, yeah. somebody can see you, 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 you look good. Right. You're very attractive. And men were not taught about attractiveness. Women don't want smelly guys, True. sweaty. Tell them. All of the shoes are smelling. Yeah. The mouth is not well brushed. <laughs> you're not even grooming. You yeah. look like a chihuahua. Everything <laughs> just hiding. So. Did you just say chihuahua? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Some people, you know, sometimes before they shave that cathedral, the eyes are... <laughs> And some have, have been blessed with a lot of hair. So it just looks bad. <laughs> you know. Yeah. When you're poorly groomed. and Because you are living among club boys whose standards are very low. Yeah. You are used to that. Yeah. You don't go around sagging trousers at your age. Husbands don't do that. You, you put a belt. Put a belt. <laughs> Get a set of pairs of socks. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Attend to your shoes. They may seem sim simple things, but if you meet a person and you are repulsed, you want mm -hmm. to marry them. Everything else notwithstanding. Yeah. Repulsed by small physical things. Yeah. Learn the small etiquette. Mm. 
this more etiquette. There are some things you're going to teach each other along the journey of life. Mm -hmm. But there's some elementaries nobody wants to teach a grown up. True. <laughs> if your breath stinks at this age, we're not, not aware this conversation is over <laughs> <laughs> before it starts. <laughs> you know, yeah. And you're not aware? Yeah. You know, some things may be infections, but what have you done? Exactly. Yeah. What have you done? Yeah. Some people are just lazy, they just brush carelessly and it's only once. Yeah. And they're eating ten times, twenty times. And they're very quiet people. <laughs> they don't talk. <laughs> so when they talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. That is the point we are saying the one thing is to transform into that thing you want. The second thing is to learn the game of speedy, the game of speedy character analysis. Okay. Lily, you, you tend to get emotionally planted in the wrong places because you are too slow to read people. Mm -hmm. The worst enemy in mm -hmm. dating is dragging, getting stuck, and stacking yourself, struggling, yeah. dragging to the next person, emotions all over, you know, hopes all over, yeah. projections to the future, fantasies, yes. and, and, and then it fails again, you drag again to the next, you're tired, you heal a little, and you start again. You don't do that, you don't find a partner in a year when you're so slow. Yeah. I, I saw something in dating, right? Can I read it very <laughs> yes, quickly? Because yes, yes. it's in line with what you're saying. You were talking about red flags and you yes. were saying how we end up in toxic relationships with chaotic lovers is because we don't stand up for ourselves in the beginning when red flags occur. And red flag is not always just a bad sign from the other person, but a bad tendency within yourself as well. Mm -hmm. I find that to be so the in line. tendency to be so slow in making up your mind? Yeah, yeah. Uh, over explaining red flags, over hoping, hoping too much. I think even investigating the red flags, because what I've come to <laughs> yeah. learn is, yes. if I see that someone is shady, uh -huh. I should just leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Don't you don't let, once you catch them red handed, yeah. with character flow, yeah. with uh, hedging around the truth, yeah. Uh, 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 and the disappointment is what you're avoiding. You know, you're avoiding the disappointment of accepting that this can't go on. Yes. Lily, the moment you decide that you want to date speedily, consciously, the first thing you learn is to analyze character quickly and mm -hmm. make decisions speedily. Generally, success requires speed. Generally. Mm -hmm. Success is not a slow, sluggish thing. Mm -hmm. It requires precision. Yes, there's a time to wait for the right time, but yeah. when the right time comes, you must hit with precision and speed and energy. Yeah. So at the same time, the same way, when you're dating, when you're trying to find the right person within that season and you have stopped, you know, when you when you date consciously, you stop all other projects. Yes. You maintain status quo. You are okay, you're going to work, you're doing but you're not launching in many other directions. Yeah. Traveling and stuff. Y yes. Yeah. That time the focus with every free time to meet that next person, make decisions, analyze, hear this, ask questions, converse. Yeah. Once that is what is happening in your life, yeah. don't waste time with one person and then you are digging into feelings, into mm. feelings, into feelings. The reason you need decisions and sometimes it's one conversation. Mm -hmm. One. You make decisions with one conversation. One. Yes. Okay, two. One. <laughs> <laughs> After you connect somewhere, yeah, and then you're talking personally on the first time. Mm -hmm. Our aim was to find that red flag now. Right. It's called positive skepticism. You look like you're a viable candidate, mm -hmm. but I can't wait to find out the truth honestly. Yeah. So that I don't waste my feelings. Yeah. So you converse easily. It's not interrogative. You yeah. Feel free, but you know you're collecting information. Where, who the person is, where they're coming from, what they, the, what they live for, what they hope for, what they have done in their life, what they're doing their money, what is happening in their life, da, 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 that the kind of a thing. Many times the red flag was, I'm not trying to get married now. That's enough, just in congruence, in seasons. Okay. From there you drop your hopes. We are not enemies, but we are not in what are looking for. But people are very, adults have learned how to be vague. And that's why one conversation is not enough. And even to lie. Yes, one, one is often not enough, but we are saying if you can make the decision in one, you are better off. Okay. The, the fewer, the longer, the shorter time you take with people, the better. And you're not rushing the emotional connection. Yeah. You know, you can sense a person whom you, this one I can fall for. Yeah. Before you fall, learn to sense people you can fall for, okay? 
Yeah. You sense the vibe, and if you let yourself. <laughs> yeah. You sense the excitement. Yes. You know, love is exciting. Yes. You imagine the excitement of being with this person. Yes. How pretty they are, how handsome yeah. they are, how caring. The, la the, the language, positive skepticism. While you're feeling all that vibe, you say, maybe, maybe not. Let me find out. Yeah. Maybe not. And in sales, they were saying, you're aiming for 10 subsequent no's. From viable buyers. <laughs> From people who could have bought. Yeah. But you did your best pitch. Mm -hmm. They were just testing their endurance for rejection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you can endure, tolerate so much rejection yeah. without losing courage, now you have passed. It was a test of sales. Okay. So in, in dating, we will remove that too much, too much discouragement mm -hmm. when a thing does not work. Yeah. You let it wear off in a day. After you decide in the morning that, oops, this is not going anywhere. Yeah. By evening, you've forgotten about it. <coughs> the disappointment <coughs> is gone. So we are saying, master the game of once you start talking, make decisions. Don't mm -hmm. start offloading. Mm -hmm. Remember not to be loyal to, to a person in the early stages of talking, saying, I don't like moving around. This stage is open. It's the for stage moving of dating is for moving around. All this right. is why the searching. Yeah. That's when the book Dating Right and the other Dating Right talked about dating widely. Mm -hmm. That part of searching, that part of meeting new people. Yeah. This is a book that, that's where we are on now. Yes. But now when it comes to when you have found the person who you have prospects for, mm -hmm. this is a book now. Before you say I do. Yeah. That person in front of you, how do you evaluate them to make decisions quickly? Yeah. This is where you've narrowed down. Mm. And how to stop, you know, you can withdraw yourself from the market for nothing. Uh -huh. You stop talking to people thinking this is the one. Yeah. You stop responding to the others thinking you're found. Mm -hmm. Only to realize they are taking you around about. You know, you thought it was a destination. Yeah. It becomes around about. <laughs> There's no place you're going. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So the thing is to say, a lot of times when you see, when you see yourself confused, mm -hmm. Um, and it's a person in your mind and you're thinking, is it, is it the one and not the, you consult this one, you consult the other one it's because you are bargaining with red flags yes and people ask, what if I release this one and I don't find another one, that is timid and fearful, this world has too many people, believe in what you want, that, that, that it exists yeah, faith, you need faith that you find what you want Yes. and when somebody who came so close yeah, it's humanly painful to let go when somebody is so close. So close, yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you, we also know in other areas of life, that that college that came so close to fitting what you wanted, but didn't mm -hmm. fit, mm -hmm. still ended up not being the right one. When yeah. you finally find the right one, you don't have to negotiate on fundamentals. I know, yeah. You'll find a person who you don't have to compromise on fundamentals. The last step is to create room for the new family, for the new union. Once... Once you found a person whom you are agreeing, start moving things towards family. Okay. This is important because people tend to fall into laxity mm -hmm. once they find each other. They mm -hmm. assume things will take the natural course. Ladies, stop asking questions hoping the guy knows what to do. What do you mean? <laughs> once you found and both of you are ticking boxes, our season, we are clinging so well. Yeah. You hope now he will just move things from there. You need to know the tentative sh schedule. Uh -huh. That conversation needs to be there. Okay. Create room for family instead of indulgence. If you just let your feelings sit there, they will either become resentful, tired, or you find yourself doing the wrong things at the wrong time. Right. And you lose momentum. Yes. Remember we said you can contaminate a perfectly viable relationship. If you start doing the wrong things at the wrong time. If you start, you know, um, unpacking yeah. before you arrive. Let me ask you, why would I not move? Why would we not move towards family? What would be the hold up? What you said, that uh -huh. sometimes people are vague. They uh -huh. say they wanted marriage, but they're not quite ready for the process now. Oh. They don't want to let you go. Okay. Uh, 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 they, they would like to marry you, but they're not ready to pay the price. The price of getting married is the risk of commitment. Right. That's true. <laughs> that is withdrawing yourself from the market and telling the world goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is that is pricey. That's a cost. That's pricey, yes. A lot of people don't want to pull that plan. They want okay. to have you here for themselves while avoiding that thing. 
and so, so they may start using very funny language. Oh, mm -hmm. let's start life first. They may start dodging or just not talking. Next year, April, next year, April, next year, April. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Something came up. You know, things can always come up. Yeah. Your brother is also having yes. a rural show. Yeah, someone is sick. Let's yes. treat them first. Yes. Yeah. Things can always come up, eh? And they tend to come up more when you're planning something like this. So what do we do if we are genuinely afraid of moving forward? If you're afraid, forget about dating, go grow up. Forget marriage, go grow up. You can't buy Mercedes when you're afraid to be with it on the highway. You need the confidence <laughs> that Fair you enough. can handle that thing. Fair enough. There is no substitute for the boldness you need to assume this challenge. It's a very big challenge. Yeah. It's all thrilling. This is the highest flight you can take in life. The highest flight in life is flight of love. I believe that. You can fly. You, if you find, I saw a person saying, when you find two souls who have, who have been forged in solitary battles, mm -hmm. they burn with a, with a fire of vengeance to prove to the world that they are what they claim to be. For example, you marry, and after you marry, people step aside now. They leave you. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have hopes for anything. Mm -hmm. They can't get money easily. They can't get to sleep with you easily. They can't get... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're left in solitary battles. Yes. The more you fight, the more you bind together, you bond together, and you have something to prove to the world that you can make it. Right. The battles that couples are fought by themselves. Mm. If it's a healthy couple, just draws them closer. They struggle together, child, they become better friends. They struggle, they've got their children difficult, you know, sometimes getting of the children is near death experiences. Yes. They are going through this and the other one. Yes. They went through things, but you find them, they are happier, they trust each other more. They yeah. know each other more. Yeah. They went through sickness, one of them was down, it was the other one to do everything, to run around and arrange everything. Yeah. To lift the weight and support the one who's down. Mm. One went to school, sometimes just doing a master's can become a strenuous on that family. Mm. Because one person now went to school, mm -hmm. they need support. Yeah. The one who's left here must support the family and that support the student. Yes. <laughs> Just yeah. that journey by itself. Yeah. Sometimes a person went to a work very far away. So to negotiate the distance became strenuous. Yeah. Sleeping late nights, going to work, having slept only two hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Whatever people fight when they're together as a family, when it's a couple tends to bind them together. The thing is to say, make room now. Stop settling because you found the person and you feel very excited mm. have us have a schedule of events that you know will get you what you want that's why the year becomes utilizable mm -hmm. that's why the the, the finishing every, all your functions in a year becomes possible mm -hmm. because yeah. you're doing one in february the other one june yeah. and the final one in october yes and we have a, an outline yes and we th th we said when you date right you don't date wrong you can't date long because yeah. you are you're holding yeah, that's true. The whole, you, you, and you're very busy yeah. coordinating things. Mm. You can't allow procrastination and laxity. No. And you're also leaving that door open. In case this person is not prepared, I'm still within time. I don't want to waste all time with you. Yes. You draw me away and leave me in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Don't date eight years. Yeah. The general dating window for many people is five years. Mm. Oh, okay. For most people, the window when you're at your prime is five years. Also, energetically, how long can you keep searching? You can't, you can't put yourself out there forever. Mm. You can't hold other things in your life forever. Mm. The dating is a project by itself. When it comes, it absorbs you. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to try that in 2026. For those <laughs> who are trying that now, all the best. Tell us a little bit about this new book. Congratulations. Thank you. So this book of Before You Say I Do yeah. is, is the book that... Would, would give you the questions you need to ask for premarital, mm -hmm. pre-engagement, yeah. or the pre-engagement counseling, premarital counseling, the questions you need to ask. Yeah. This is for the book, a book when you have a person you are trying to weigh and make decisions about. Yes. When the relationship asks questions you want to answer. Mm -hmm. While dating right was widely for how to put yourself out there, <coughs> how to meet new people, yeah. this book is for when there's a person and you don't know how to conduct the conversations to find out everything you need to find out. Mm. When you are considering them for marriage and they are, you are talking already, from the point you say hello to the yeah. place you need to say I do, yes. how do you conduct that conversation? How do you conduct that process yes. to make sure there are no delays, no disappointments, 
to make sure you marry the right person in the right setting. Mm. It can be the right person, but you you mess up the foundation. Yeah. So this is a book for moving from the time you meet mm. a person you like until the time <laughs> until the time you marry them. Yeah. Yes. So please get yourself a copy www.benjaminzuluglobal.com. Um, it's a very good book if you're considering getting married. It's also a good book even if you're not dating. Yeah, yes. just to have that uh, information in your logs. So that's the website to get this book and all of Benjamin's other work. See you on the next episode. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart months. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, 